Alright nerds, how's it going? Welcome back to Satisfactory. So, oh, as I try and get out, there we go. Right, so, uh, steel production. As you can see on my little um, HUD there at the top, I've put a beacon down there for where I'm planning to do steel. I've got stuff sort of ready, so we'll do that in a bit. But first I'm going to show you how I've been uh, sorting out my base, what I've done different. Uh, so, as you come over here, first thing you see are these huge, like, storage things. Uh, one over here as well, on the, um, concrete. So, as you can see, this is all filled up, and it's filling these up. So, it's, it's like a overflow, basically. So, the way they work is very simple. If you haven't seen these before, uh, you bet sort of have them all stacked up. Uh, they're all facing opposite directions, so that's... Basically, it goes in there, out the back, into this one into that one then the one at the far end goes across behind I'll show you it uh, goes over there I had to do a bit of a uh, messing around here because there was something encroaching on it I can't remember what it was that was causing me issues but uh, yeah so it goes round into that one and then that back round so as you can see this one's filled up as well and it's starting to fill up that one so it's just a good thing for if you've got overflow and you want to store it somewhere rather than just have your machines completely back up and not be producing you can uh, do this so what I've done uh, as you can see there's three there so that's the three main basic iron things so we got plates rods and screws so these areas over here each vein is doing its own one so I need to put some assemblers down again and get the rotors and other stuff being made again but for now uh, this is how I'm doing it. So this one here comes out. I'm still using Mark 1 for everything, so it's 60 a second off there. Two smelters doing 30. So they split again into these, which uh, are one for one, doing 15. So then they come out, and I've got mergers, putting them all back together. So this final one coming out here is back up to 60 a second, which is awesome. So uh, before I go and show you the next one, uh, I just remembered I got that yellow slug I found researching. So let's have a look and see what I get from that. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into two power shards that function with current fixit technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. Oh, interesting. So I can get two power shards from that, is it? Let's have a look exactly what it means. Uh, where was it? Yellow shards. Have I not already done the power shards one? Oh well. Uh, but I need to do this. So let's get that in. Oh, I need to pick up some rods. Hopefully I've got a load of stuff in here. Yes. That should be enough now, yeah. And wire, do I have enough wire? Yeah, plenty. Oh, maybe. Maybe plenty. Oh, not quite. Right, so... Do 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 Alright, so let's get all this crap in here. And launch that bad boy. Off you go, mate. Cool, awesome. So I can do lots of shards. Uh I need to make some. Counterfoil recipe. Why is it saying one there? Is it? Oh. Anyway. Right, so let's. Uh... Right, cool. So that's that one done. So let's get some slugs, because for the next thing I want to do, I'm going to need some of those power shards. Because I'm going to do my first bit of overclocking. So, uh, yeah, I'm on the power shard. Just make all the ones I can. 
Right, lovely. So yeah, if you come over here and we have a look at my uh, where I'm making plates, I've got a few things down ready that I haven't started yet. But basically, the way it works, uh, obviously 60 a minute. So going into these two, which are 30, but these only use 30 a minute as well because it uh, takes two of the ingots. So what I want to do to be to have my output going at 60 a second, as you can see it's not there at the moment, I need to have four going. And the only way I'm going to be able to do that at the moment is if I overclock this bad boy to 200%, so it's actually doing 120 a minute, and then if I get upgrade this belt here to 120 a minute as well, uh, then when it splits off after here, these ones will be 60, but it means I can split off again and get these other ones going. So, what I've also seen that you can do, which is pretty awesome, if I want to use a splitter, if I put it over there, it automatically snaps to it, turns it the right way, and you can just put it down like that, which is pretty awesome. So let's do the other one as well. Uh, yeah, there's fine. So let's have a go with these shards. Uh, first time using these, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing. But uh, so if I put one, so you put it in there, and then you pull the slider. Okay, cool. And can I put another one in? Yes, I can. So yes, up to two hundred percent. And then if I do this, uh, conveyor belt mark two. Oh wow, yeah, you can just click on it and upgrade it. That is amazing. So that is going much faster, as you can see. And then if I put these normal belts here, and, oh, get stuck. And here, I should then have everything sorted. So that should be 120. Should split there to 60, then split again to 30, and then these, need to be making ingots cool and then these I need to make sure these are doing plates I've already set those up for plates lovely so in theory that all looks like it's coming out at the same speed and it should be enough to make this work more or less 100% efficiency perfect and then that means at the end here, we are getting a now an output of when it all starts coming through properly. That should should ah there we go. It's finally uh, worked its way through. So now we're getting a uh, sixty a minute coming out of there as well. Fantastic. Right, so that is basically everything I've done over here. So I'm going to go over to my power station uh, where my coal's being generated and show you what I've done over there right so here I am at my coal area uh, I love the fact that these have got ladders on the side and you can just climb up that is amazing oh and uh, you can also fall off so that's good uh, <laughs> right so yeah go along here all my coal is nicely backed up so there's tons of it going in here. I haven't changed this at all, it just it's just filled them all up and I've got a big overflow. So what I've done here, uh, I've got another one of those big storage buffer things over there, so I've got loads of coal going in there. Because as you can see, when you get further down, it's not a constant flow, but I should have loads built up in there by now. These bad boys over here are doing copper, so, um, oh, that guy just floating in the air. Uh, yeah, so with the copper, it's going over there, and I've got one side making, uh, all making wire, and the other side making the cable, and I've got storage buffers for those as well. Oh, interesting. Why are you not... Ah, hang on. That's weird. Oh, that was some kind of bug. It looked like it wasn't moving. Or I'm just moving faster than it. 
Anyway, very strange. So, uh, yeah, tons of coal being made there. How far have we got with it? How 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 many are full? Is that moving? I've got at least three filled up, so that's pretty good. So then I've brought it over here, made myself um, the crafting stations and some uh, storage over here, so that's all good. And I've got the coal coming down to here, where it meets up with some iron, which has been done over there. I've got loads of other iron nodes over here as well, like some both side. So, and a nice big um, flat area. So, this is where I'm going to do my uh, steel, at least for now anyway. So, uh, I'm not really sure how many I'm going to be able to run with the amount of coal I've got. Uh, I need to put a foundry down and test it out, really. So I'm just going to whack one over here somewhere. And we're going to see how uh, how much stuff it consumes and see how many I can get going off one belt. Or at least roughly try and work it out. It's probably going to be something weird. Oh, I didn't think about that. The foundry actually uses some of the steel stuff, so I'm going to have to create some of this by hand. So let's uh, whack one of those in there for now. And come over here and make some of these things. So I need... What do I need? I need coal. And iron, don't I, to make steel ingots. Uh, so let's grab some of this. There should be a ton of it in here. Yes. Lovely. Oh, it was it. It sounded like the power cutting out but it was actually uh it's starting to work right so lovely if we run over here i need to make some steel no wrong one steel steel ingots cool so i'm just going to make a load of these cool so that's some of those made need some uh steel pipes so, make a few of those. And I need some encased industrial beams. So, I believe that is these steel beams and uh, concrete. It is. Oh, look at that. I could just make the right amount. Perfect. So, I've at least got enough to put one foundry down and see how it goes. And then I'll worry about making some more in a minute. So let's just stick it in front of here. Boundary. How big is it? That's not crazy big. So let's just whack it down. Uh, and extend these. Oh, and I need some power, don't I? Oh. Uh, let's... Go from there. Right, so let's have a look at this bad boy. So, set it to steel ingots. And it uses 45 per minute. So, can't really get two off it at full efficiency. It's going over uh, more than 100% at the moment, so it's going to build up. So, it might be a case of uh, overclocking it slightly to get two off. But never mind. So what I um, what I can do though is definitely get a few down and just split these because obviously as I've got a load of coal backed up for now at least. Oh, who are you? Hello, I've not seen you before. Is it? It's like a oh, and and it's gone. Look like a fairy or something. Uh, right, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to split these, stick a few more down, and straight away start getting this turned into the other things. So I'll probably do one outputting straight away into a constructor making the beams, one doing the pipes, and... Oh, then we're going to need an assembler, aren't we, for doing the, uh, the other ones. Ah, fair enough. Cool. Right, well, I'm going to start getting a few more foundries down at least. And I'll be back in a minute. Right, okay, so I've got three down. Powered them all. Um, because they take 45 of each resource a minute, 
uh, and we've got so much iron, I've just smashed a, a miner feeding straight into each one. Uh, so that it's getting more than it'll need, so obviously it's getting 60, it needs 45. Uh, but for working out the coal, because obviously I've only got one line of it, uh, and when I split it, it'll be less than enough. Basically what uh, I've worked out, for now, if I get a Mark II belt from my storage all the way down to here, so it's 120, when it splits into three, it's not going to be too much under. Because if you if you work it out, like 45 a minute, 45 times three is 135 and not 120. So I need slightly more than 120, but it's still going to be going at like a fairly decent rate. So uh, where are we? I need to get my Mark two belts. I've gone and picked up a load of the reinforced plates, which is what they cost. It's just reinforced plates instead of normal. So hopefully I've got enough. So let's see. That's that section done. That section. Here we go. Let's just run it all the way back. Is that all of it? Yeah, so that's conveyor mark 2 all the way from there down to the splitter. So now I just need normal belts to uh, whack it in. So obviously, obviously, that's not a word. I'm going to need to get over these, so I'm going to need the uh, stackable poles. So let's see, where do I want it? If I just stick one there... Is that going to be high enough? That goes onto there. The, the right side would be good. And then that can go straight in. Lovely. Fantastic. So let's do that. And do that. Right. So now we have all of these bad boys making steel ingots. So now what I want to do is get some constructors and output into those and start making the three different things. So let's... have I got enough stuff for those? Three constructors... yeah, easy. Right, constructor, constructor, constructor... Let's line that up. Lovely, so that's those down more or less more or less lined up. Let's get some conveyors. Cool. A uh, bit of power would also be good. Awesome. So we're all powered up. And let's see how these work. So we want one doing pipes. Two doing beams, I guess, because at some point we want to turn some of the beams into the other ones, whatever they were called, the encased beams. So how does this go? 15 per minute. So if I wanted loads of it, if I wanted to get a plate of 60, I would need four just doing the pipes. I'm going to get, as I said, two doing steel ingots and one doing the pipes steel ingots steel beams you know what i mean right so at least i've got some going and i'll just put like one bits of storage down to collect those right so looking at it again i was kind of right this one is now working at 87 percent efficiency so that's roughly what i was thinking it was going to do uh the one in the middle is like fully backed up though so that one is still doing... Oh yeah, that one's still doing higher. Anyway, but yeah, so basically these output in 30, but these only take uh, 15. So, I mean, it will still be not quite as efficient as it would if I was managing to get a whole 135 on the, on the belt, but I can split off of each of these. So in theory, I could have the three foundries feeding into six of these 
and then have like uh, three doing each maybe or or whatever I want really could have two doing the um, pipes and four doing the beams seeing as the beams uh, are getting made into something else but yeah that's that's what I want to do anyway I want to split it and then uh, yeah so basically I need yeah, I actually need six of these bastards. Uh, so that's fine. We can do that. Alright, there we go. So that's three more constructors down. Um, let's get those powered. Well, that last one says it has lines connected, but it is red for whatever reason. Oh, is it full? No, it's not making anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm an idiot. Right. So, yeah, there we go. Pipes. Right, fantastic. So now I've got loads of steel stuff being made. Right, so I was just thinking, it might be worth setting up um, a couple of them making the encased ones straight away. I just need to uh, get a load of concrete over here. So I think what I'm going to do, instead of uh, just making a massive belt, now would be a good time to try and automate a tractor. Uh, get down a couple of uh, the sort of vehicle stations that they drive between and then like automate a route for it and uh, get the um, concrete brought over here that way. So that could be pretty awesome. Right, so I've gone and got my tractor and all the stuff I need to make the uh, truck stations. So I need to put one down. So I need to think about where the inputs and outputs are on it and where you drive up to. So the, the big arm thing with the claw on it, that's where you would drive the truck up to and it would uh, either pick up or drop stuff off. But the inputs and outputs are on the other side. So basically if I want stuff to come out of this and be fed into some stuff making things over here. I kind of want the outputs to be on this side. So if I put it... Oh, it's going a bit weird and glitchy. If I put it around about here, let's just whack it there and see how that looks. So the outputs in a good place. So these are the inputs. Uh, so you can put fuel in it, I think, and then it will automatically refuel, refuel your truck, which is pretty cool. Get rid of this crap. So what I can do when I uh, set set it up, my truck can drive up to here, pause for a minute, and then I will drive back again. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. My concrete can come out of there. Cool, so I just want to go and uh, put one the other side. And then we will um, try and record a path for this thing. This is all new to me, so it may uh, may not work first time. It may do, we'll have a go. But yeah, so I'll drive over back to base and then we'll work it out. Cool. So, we are where my concrete is and we need to put one down here. So inputs that side near the concrete, plenty of space, that'll do probably. So we can get the conveyor piping the concrete straight in. Uh, configure, okay, so yeah, you can put fuel in as I thought and it will automatically fuel the truck, so that's good. Uh, is that? That can't be full already. Why is... Have I put it into the wrong one? Is it meant to go into that one? Should it make a difference? I wouldn't have thought so. Are you going to work now? Oh, it needs power, doesn't it? That's probably why it's not working. Ah, right. That was dumb. Right, 
Right, so that is now powered. There we go, now it's working. So this must be just for fuel, that side. Okay, that makes sense. So, right, fuel in that side, that going in there. And, uh, yeah, we're ready to go. Right, so I'm ready to try and record a path for this thing. Uh, full disclosure, this is my third attempt. First try, I got to the other end and it wouldn't unload because I hadn't powered it. I mean, I probably could have carried on doing it, but um, I just wanted to get it all sorted. So I just got out, powered it then, and uh, came back, tried again. Second time, got halfway there and uh, ran out of fuel. So <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, but yeah, so basically, I want to get underneath it. We will see it... Um, drop some stuff off. I mean, if you're not right under it, it doesn't really matter. You, as long as you're quite close, even if it drops it on the floor in front of you, it still seems to put it in the vehicle's inventory. So that's all good. So yeah, if I press C, brings up the menu for it. And uh, yeah, obviously I want to go start recording. So third time's a charm. Hopefully this will work. So let's uh, drive this way. Let's go between this rock. Hopefully the AI is pretty accurate when driving, because otherwise it's going to crash into things, seeing as I'm quite close to all this. Uh, I did go to the right of this area and down there before, but there's a bit of a dip and the tractor nearly rolled, so I think this way will be better for the AI. Uh, right, so here we go. I want to come in this way, slow it down a bit, probably. Let's see where we, there we go. So stop underneath. Oh, uh, right, that will be long enough. It looks like that one might not be set to unload. It might be set to load as well, but that's not a problem. I will set this up and then we will mess around with it in a minute. But as long as the path of the vehicle is okay, it shouldn't matter. So I'm going straight back on the exact same route. So I want to go round this way and come up the way I went in. So let's have a look. Go nice and slow and stop there leave it a few seconds again just to make sure and then go finish recording so right if I get out um, and I have to be in to do it so what happens enable autopilot yeah get out are you going to drive? Yeah! Awesome! Oh! Kind of hit that thing. Are you going to crash into the space elevator? No? Oh, it seems fairly accurate. Right, cool. So I'm going to run over to the other place, make sure it is set on unload, and then we're going to uh, check that it's all fully working and that my concrete is going where it's meant to be. So what I'm going to do, these blue arrows are a bit annoying, so I'm going to quickly jump in, press C, hide path node, get out again. Wow, he completely overshot it. Oh, he even did a little reverse. Uh, but it appears to have worked. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I must have had some stuff in the vehicle's inventory before I started doing that. Awesome, well it works. So we have a couple of truck stops and a fully automated vehicle. So now I can uh, just get my concrete coming out of here into some of these machines. These have all stopped because they'll all be completely full. Yeah, there we go. Awesome, so we've got a steel production line and the vehicle automation. So shall I... Um, one assembler... 
Might as well do it now, wouldn't I? While I'm filming, let's get it all done. So, assembler. Let's move it a bit further back because I'll need to get the concrete into it. So that can go there. Do I want... Do I want two or just one? I'll do one for now and then see how it goes. Uh, so we want... Steel. And we want... Concrete. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's all good. Right, so power... And we want to be making these bad boys. Cool. So what I might have to do for making the stators, because they use um, uh, the copper wire, don't they? So that might be a case of uh, getting another truck, truck stop further over. And uh, automating another one, bringing that over, and then I can make the stators. So that's probably what I'm going to do. But that's... Uh, I'll probably do that one off camera. How fast do these make? Four per minute. Wow. Not many at all. But that's the case with all of these, really. All of the uh, things made in assemblers don't do very many. But it's all good. We've got some being made. Awesome stuff. Alright, cool. So yeah, I think that's uh, plenty for this video. We've automated ourselves a little uh, little tractor doing its thing, bringing over the concrete. We've got a whole steel production thing started. Uh, I'll set up something making the stators at some point. But obviously as I need to get the wire in, that is uh, something I will do off camera. So cool. Awesome stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. Uh, and yeah, I will see you again very soon. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, generally have a fantastic day. Alright, see you later, nerds.